Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Fish. And I'm Brandon Price. And this is Fish or Price Ranch. Ranch. Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So as you guys can see, we're dealing with hay today. Um, I wanted to do this video just to help warn people. Um, not that it's the hay grower's fault or not blaming anybody. Um, but this is that big stack of hay that we got to stock up our barn. And the guy's buying it all back because unfortunately it is full a foxtail. Now if you guys ever see this stuff, if you haven't dealt with it before, which this is our first time dealing with it, um, these are seeds off of the, the grass. And anyway, the way that these seeds work is once they become hard, they, when they fly off um, to seed, they actually burrow into the ground. Um, and so unfortunately, our goats are suffering right now. We have to go through every single goat we own once we get rid of this hay. I have to clean up the fields because there's a bunch of it in piles out there from when we've been feeding. And luckily they're not eating all of it, but some of the girls, I haven't even seen the boys yet, but like yesterday we, uh, I saw that one of the upper lip was kind of sticking out a little bit more than normal. And I lifted her lip and it's full of these foxtails. And because it's a burrowing seed, it's burrowing into their gums and they're bleeding. They've got blisters everywhere. Um, it's, it's really, really bad. Actually, I was in tears yesterday because one of the girls was so bad. I just, I had Brandon hold her and I was pulling the foxtails out of her upper lip underneath. And she was literally, she would like tremble and moan because it hurt that bad. And once I got it all out or what I could get out, it was just blood dripping all over her, out of her mouth. Um, so I'll be showing you guys that because we do have to go through and clean up all the girls. So I'll show you guys what it looks like inside the mouth, what it looks like after we pull it out. Um, it's going to be a really hard couple of days because I've got to get out in the field and clean all of it. We have to get rid of all the hay we just stockpiled. And then we have to go find another new supplier. Um, I don't know how many new suppliers we've been through this year. And we just can't seem to catch a break. Um, it's, it's making us go broke. Uh, where I've already had to get a couple of loans to be able to afford to feed these girls and now this. Um, so it, I understand how some of the farmers are having trouble keeping their livestock. It's just getting to, to the point where it's the feed prices are skyrocketing um, and you know it's just getting really hard to afford the animals. Um, and so I, I understand why people are selling out or cutting way, way back. Um, I actually, I have 20 goats up for sale right now, but nobody's buying. And so, you know, if they don't sell in a few months, my best option is to take them to the butcher because I can't afford to feed them. And, um, you know, it's, it's getting really difficult. So anyway, I wanted to do this video uh, to show you guys what a foxtail looks like. I'm gonna grab another one. Um, it's just this really fluffy looking stuff and that's the seed itself and when you curl it, let me curl it um, so you can see all those little hairs and everything. It's what helps it blow in the wind and then the bottom portion of it is real pointy and then what it does is it just keeps burrowing and twisting and burrowing. Um, so we're going to have to go through the whole field, pick out everything we can find, burn it because I don't want to just toss it over the fence because it's just going to start growing. When we do have our pastures, we're going to have to be keeping an eye out for it growing because whatever seeds are already out there, um, we're just going to have to pull it before it can reseed and we'll eventually get it all off of our property. But it's, it's, a, it's a pretty bad situation. Uh, I would just hate for anybody to um, have to deal with something like this. And I mean the goats, I just, I feel so bad that they're having to go through that much pain. Even though we're able to keep out food for them with all this hay, we were able to just free feed them, give them however much they wanted, but it's sitting in piles because their mouths hurt so bad from having all that seed in there burrowing into their gums and they just don't even want to eat. So even though they have all this food, they're not eating and they're still losing weight. We're still having problems. So it's just been, it's been a really rough year. <laughs> 
and it doesn't seem to have an end in sight unfortunately so let me show you guys what it looks like in a bale of hay so if you guys ever are buying hay you can kind of see what it looks like and then we have to go out in the field I'm, I'm loading up all this hay so I can take it back to the hay farmer and then I gotta come back we gotta clean the fields like I said get rid of all the old hay and then we have to go to another town two towns over to uh, get the big bales of hay that we were getting before um, that are over $200 a bale that used to be $130. Um, so they're $100 more a bale now, and one bale only lasts four days. <laughs> um, so it's just getting, it's getting very difficult. We had switched to the beet pulp pellets to add in morning and night just to give the girls some extra proteins and feed so they'd cut down on the hay. Well, now everybody's out of beet pulp pellets. I can't even get that. Um, so now we're going through more alfalfa pellets, trying to get them a little something extra so they quit eating as much hay. I mean, either way, we're still having to feed them so much food and it's costing so much money. Um, <laughs> so I just, I don't see where the farmers can win. It's, uh, it's getting hard. So anyway, enough of my rambling. So this is what the hay looks like baled. Um, I'm still standing on some, so I'll show you guys that. Um, but if you look at the hay, you can actually see it sticking out right here. Uh, here's another one right here. Um, you can see them sticking out right here. So they just look like little fuzzy pieces inside the hay. And that's the foxtail. Um, so, see here's another piece here. There's a big one right there. So anyway, that's what the foxtail looks like um, inside of a bale of hay. Uh, you can see it before they cut the field if you guys are able to get it out of the field because it's really light colored compared to the other hay. And so it stands out pretty good in the pasture. Um, but like I said, we'd never dealt with it before. I assumed because our goats eat cactus uh, that this wouldn't be a problem, but apparently it is. So uh, time to take this back and start cleaning out the field. All right, so we're starting to clean out the girl's mouths. If you look at her mouth, see how her lip sticks out <clears throat> instead of like this girl, how it's straight down. Okay, and then you look at hers and it sticks out like that. So when you lift the lip, oh, goodness. all that green it, are those seeds. Some foxtails. Seeds. Foxtails. All right, so now that we've got her cleaned out, this is the sores that she's left with. She even had them down here below her teeth. So that's what she's left with. And they'll heal up, but man, she's in a lot of pain, and that's just one goat. All right, this poor girl has it even worse. She's got it all over her mouth. So as you guys can see, these poor girls are suffering. Um, I couldn't film me pulling them out, but I mean, they're literally screaming and trembling with pain. Um, and that was just two. We still have another uh, like 81 goats to do. <laughs> so it's gonna take a while. Um, we're gonna have to, now that the area's been getting some rain, not that we've gotten much here, um, I think what we're gonna do is all the piles that you see, you can see there's one there, one there, you know, um, throughout the pastures of the old hay, we're just going to take a wheelbarrow, scoop them all up, and burn them. And um, Brandon just picked up some new hay, so we're about ready to feed them. We're hoping if we give them new, better hay, um, that they'll just leave what's left of the other hay alone. But I think we'll just be checking their uh, mouths frequently. So there's our new hay. Uh, we'll just be checking their mouths probably weekly until it's been cleared up for a while and we know that we got it all and um, like I said before once we do start our pastures we'll keep an eye out for any seeds that sprouted and just pull them right away that way uh, we don't get it in our hay once we're at that point uh, probably at least another year before we can grow our own hay because we're already getting into the fall and we're not ready <laughs> so um, anyway hopefully this helps you guys uh, don't make the same mistake I did and think that they can have it I've never dealt with it before. I've heard a few things here and there about it, but you don't hear about it a lot. So I wasn't so sure. I figured the goats can eat cactus. I'm sure it'd be fine for them. 
Um, it's not, not even close. These poor girls, it's gonna take a long healing process for them. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna get these girls fed, so we'll see you again soon.